Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, I've already told you that ad blockers will still work in Mozilla Firefox. Because towards the end of last year, into the middle of this year, Google is deprecating Manifest V2 extensions, which is a more classic extension, and replacing them with MV3, Manifest version 3 extensions, as you may well know by now. And I'll leave that previous video um, linked down below in the end screen because it does have a little bit of um, information you might find helpful and interesting. Now, in regards to this, uh, Mozilla has confirmed once again that um, it will not be deprecating or ending support for V2 extensions in Firefox. And I'll leave this uh, short post by Mozilla. Um, I'll leave this um, linked down below in the description if you'd like some more information. But just a quick recap. Google began phasing out Manifest V2 last year and as mentioned plans to end support for extensions built on it by mid-2025. And that change has real consequences according to this blog post by Mozilla for Chrome users who are already losing access to uBlock Origin. And I have posted on that and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because with one of the more recent updates to Chrome, it started giving me messages that uBlock Origin, which is a V2 extension, is not supported and will soon be removed and go check the video out. It's all explained in that video. So as mentioned, Mozilla says this has real consequences for users of uBlock Origin, which is one of the most popular ad blockers because it relies on Manifest V2 a feature called Block Webbing Request. Now, I don't want to get into all of that. Go check the blog post out. Um, Mozilla explains it um, all here in this paragraph here if you'd like to get more information. But already Brave and Opera have already said that they will carry on supporting um, Manifest V2 extensions, although Brave has a very good um, Shields ad blocker and content blocker, which I think is one of the best. But nonetheless, Brave and Opera have also said that they would support um, those extensions so they won't be losing support and at this stage with Microsoft Edge um, there's a bit of a question mark hanging over if Microsoft Edge is going to end support for V2 because um, another video I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen is because recently in the latest preview version of Microsoft Edge it started disabling uBlock Origin and other MV2 extensions. But as I mentioned, it could be a bug. So there's a bit of a question mark over if Microsoft and the Edge browser are going to deprecate V2 extensions, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Now getting back to Firefox. So basically at the end of the day, if we head back to that uh, post by Mozilla, here's the important bit for today's video that you need to know. Firefox's approach to Manifest V3 is shaped by our mission. They say, they say, Principle 5 of the Mozilla Manifesto states individuals must have the ability to shape the internet and their own experiences on it. That philosophy drives our approach to Manifest V3. Now, here are two bullet points that are very interesting. They say that we've introduced a broader range of APRs, including new AI functionality that allows extensions to run offline machine learning tasks directly in the browser and that Firefox will support both Manifest V2 and V3. And here's the important bit. While some browsers are phasing out Manifest V2 entirely, Firefox is keeping it alongside Manifest V3. More tools for developers means more choice and innovation for users. So that's the important bit. So I just wanted to update you guys with this because obviously uh, this deprecation of V2, especially in Google Chrome and possibly Edge, although not confirmed, um, is causing a bit of a headache and a lot of debate regarding this, um, this so-called controversial change. But that's confirmation. Firefox is keeping V2 and also that will include uBlock Origin. So uBlock Origin is going nowhere in the Firefox browser. So I think we could see a possible increase in the market share of Mozilla Firefox, um, which is currently in fourth place according to StatCounter, very far behind Chrome and obviously we've got Edge, Safari and then we've got Firefox so this may start pushing that market share up and because I've already seen in the comments that Chrome users say that this will drive them over to um, 
the Firefox web browser if this does affect them. So I'm just confirming that according to this blog post, Mozilla has confirmed now that V2 extensions are going nowhere in the Firefox web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.